Good morning, everybody. Clearly, I'm still laying in my bed right now. I did wake up an hour ago at around 11, um, but it's currently noon and I'm still laying in bed. I catch myself so much waking up and laying in bed for so long. And I feel like my overall just well-being is so bad in the morning. So it's so hard for me to like get up or anything like that. But also, I have been sleeping with podcasts on at night, like the video version, like on my projector, on my wall. Because my cat is in heat and she screams all night long, I literally have tried to do so many different things to stop it, but it just will not stop. So for my own sake, I have just kind of been playing TV like all throughout the night. And then it just kind of makes my morning worse because I wake up and I lay here and I watch the podcast, obviously. So that is kind of what I have been doing. I have been just sitting here on my phone watching this podcast. But today is actually my first day of school. This will be my second semester of my sophomore year in college, which is so crazy. I literally cannot believe that. Two of my classes got released like a week ago, and then the other four of them got released last night at midnight, so I stayed up pretty late setting up my entire like schedule and stuff of all of my assignments for the entire semester. <sighs> She's always hitting me with her tail. It's so annoying. For this entire semester, I have 133 assignments total which is literally insane. I'm pretty sure last semester I had like 70. So today I'm basically going to be filming my first day back to school. I still need to edit my video and put away my laundry though. So I need to do those things first. Why, why is she doing this? This is weird. I look like I just cried. Tate is looking for a boyfriend by the way. So feel free to DM me some boyfriend applications. She doesn't really have a type. She's kind of into all guys, so. So I finally got up and what I did immediately was put on my black knit set from Aerie. I swear whenever I'm home, I'm always wearing like lounge sets or pajamas like literally all day long. I never wear normal clothes when I'm home. But now that I've gotten up and it is so late into the day already, I am so hungry. And my mom is going to the grocery store in like an hour or two because we don't really have any food in my house right now to eat. When she goes to the store, she's going to buy me bagels so I can eat like a bagel every single day for breakfast. And then she's also like meal planning. She has meals that she's going to make for dinner for the rest of the week. So I'm kind of like, do I go get food right now? Like I'm really thinking about it. I've been craving Chipotle chips like so badly. I honestly would literally go to Chipotle right now just to get the chips, but I also enjoy their quesadillas too. So I'm kind of like, do I go to Chipotle? There's one not that far from me that literally has a drive through so I wouldn't have to go in anywhere. It's maybe like 10, 15 minutes away. Like reason with me here like this is this is a good decision to make after five seconds of contemplating i've decided that i'm going to go to chipotle tate wants to go to chipotle with me but she can't should i post like an hour-long video of tate making biscuits on the pillow some asmr for you guys this is absolutely ridiculous i literally can't see outside of any of my windows right now i mean like as you can see there's just snow on <laughs> literally everything and i have a snow scraper but it is so cold outside i literally cannot sit there and scrape this stuff off i had to do this yesterday in a mini skirt i was freezing cold i do not want to do this again today so i trying to roll the windows down so it just falls off but my windows are frozen shut and the second that I opened my door, snow fell all over my seat and all over my head, so that sucked too. Also, from hanging out with my friends last night, someone had a McDonald's cup that they left in here and the bottom of it is now frozen. Why is it so cold right now? This is about the time that I need a man to come outside and take care of this because I can't do it. I got my quesadilla and I'm so excited, but another thing that I'm excited about is my Amazon package just came in. It is the like Amazon like sheen dupe. So after I'm done eating, I will try that on for y'all. Biggest literal mistake of my life to eat Chipotle. When will I learn? So after I got done eating my Chipotle, I immediately went to the bathtub and I took like probably an hour long bath. I was just sitting in there dying and fighting for my life and it's literally been an hour and I still feel like I could literally throw up. 
I don't know why I do this to myself. I know that Chipotle is a huge trigger for me, but honestly, everything is a trigger for me at this point. So I'm kind of debating, like, I'm literally just going to eat broccoli for the rest of my life so I never have to feel like this. I'm also a little angry at myself because it's 3.30 and I have not picked my computer up today and it's literally the first day of school. Like, what am I doing? But I wanted to show you guys this stuff because this is just, like, so cool and so amazing. Please ignore my dirty room. I'm going to deal with that in a second. But so Brooklyn and Bailey's mom has, like, a hair care line called Heritage. And they sent me, like, a PR package, which is literally insane i can't believe they like i'm sure they don't know who i am i'm sure like they had like a manager or something like that message me on instagram like i don't think it was her but i'm still excited about it but she sent me a dry shampoo which i'm so happy about because this is literally the dry shampoo that i use and i just ran out of it so now i got a new one for free and then i also got this as well it i i think it's just like a curling straightening iron type thing which is super cool i've been using the same straightening iron for like four years now so it's cool that i just got a new one and then this is a transforming hair mask i've really been trying to get my hair to be looking better i feel like a lot of the time it looks really awful and a heat protectant spray too i literally never use heat protectant and i've actually been putting heat on my hair recently so this is amazing so yeah that is just like so freaking cool I like literally cannot believe that they sent that to me. I'm like screaming inside. But now it is time to open up my little Amazon Skims package. I literally feel like I can't walk. If you guys ever see me in person, by the way, this is literally how I walk like 24 seven. Literally ask anyone in my family, my posture is like this because my stomach always hurts. I'm so freaking excited about this. It is basically like the dupes that people say that are on Amazon but are exactly like skims like they're made up of literally the same material and everything and they're obviously cheaper so I went ahead and bought it and I guess I'll do a little try on here for a sec but like see we got the little top and the matching leggings let's go ahead and try it on okay so here it is on I feel like the bottoms are definitely a little bit see-through I do have black underwear on so obviously that doesn't help but I mean I think it's pretty cute it is so comfortable it is like so soft it like fits me perfectly I always have problems that like shirts are too long or they're just like an uncomfortable length and i like to have a little bit of the stomach out you know so i feel like this top is just like the perfect length the perfect fit the bottoms on me are actually the perfect length too for my seven foot long legs so yeah i am absolutely in love with this and right after i'm done filming i'm going to order more in different colors because that is how girls work now that i have this i should probably go to the gym all right y'all so i've picked up my room for the most part ignore what is going on over there but i just started doing school it is 6.45 now, I probably started maybe like an hour ago or something and the class that I chose to start with is my biology lab because it's the class that has the first assignments due, you know? And the first assignment that I have to do, also, let me just mention, so I had to go pick up this box from school, right? $76 worth of stuff, so I'm hoping that there's like an iPad in there, you know? Like I'm spending $76 on whatever's in that box it's like a bunch of bags with plastic cups and stuff so that just sucked obviously that i had to spend 76 dollars because i honestly don't think everything that is in these bags is worth that amount of money but i have to basically go through and take a picture of everything that's in every single lab bag to make sure i have all the right materials you know and oh my gosh, this is like crazy. I literally have the ring lights up over there because the lighting in here is so bad. And after going through the first bag, I'm already missing something, but I was missing measuring cups, but I have my own at home. So I'm kind of hesitant to even reach out and say anything because like, I just don't want to have to go all the way back to school and pick it up and whatever. So I have like seven more bags to go through and take pictures of. So <laughs> we'll see if I have all the stuff for it. Why is there rainbow lines on the screen? Wow, this lighting is pretty intense. Look at Dander back there sleeping. I'm using my phone flashlight as a ring light right now, but it's kind of working out actually really, really good. Maybe I should do this more often. To be completely honest with you guys, I was gonna go to bed. I knew I had to film, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to, but I definitely should. It's 1.05 in the morning right now, and it has been quite some time since I last filmed. Kind of what ended up happening is... Josie was here in the last clip that I'd filmed, but she was downstairs talking to my mom and then I got so frustrated with that entire assignment because I put so much time into like taking all the pictures of all the stuff in my lab kit. 
and then I go to submit it and it's like oh by the way this assignment isn't worth any points just like have fun with it and I'm like why are you making me do something if it's not worth anything? Like, if that's how it's going to be, I'm not going to do it at all. So that just kind of frustrated me. And then I did, like, an introduction discussion post, which, like, I'm just so tired of doing them. Like, this is my third semester in college. Why am I still introducing myself? Like, I hate having to introduce myself to new people, like, every five months it's just exhausting but thankfully I got all of my introduction discussion posts done I had to do three of them and finally they are all done and then me and Josie got into talking for a long time and then she left and then I was alone so I kind of got depressed and I didn't do anything and then I was kind of like you know what it's the first day of school like let me get ahead let me get some stuff done especially because every single week my assignments for every single class are due on Sundays and I was just showing Josie how insane everything is. This Sunday I don't really have that much stuff due but the next Sunday I have 13 assignments due. And basically for the rest of the year that's how it's gonna go and they're not easy assignments at all so just every week I'm gonna have 13 assignments to do and so I sat here and I started trying to do some assignments and then I kept getting hit with like 30 minute videos and I was like I'm not gonna watch that right now and then I started doing something for a different class and it was like a bunch of reading and then like some quizzes and stuff with it and I was having fun with it and then I was just like still going and then there was like an entire book that I had to freaking read. It was like 18 paragraphs and then I looked at what I was doing and for one assignment I was 17% complete after I had already been working on it for 45 minutes and that is just one assignment. So I kind of like lost it there and I closed my computer and I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And so now what I'm doing is I'm chilling with the cats. As you can see, Dander's sleeping back here. I don't know if you could see Cordelia is chilling on the bed. The other two gremlins are nowhere to be found. But I'm honestly just exhausted. School today was not fun and I hope that maybe it could be more fun tomorrow but probably not. But thank you guys for watching my little first day of school vlog. I know there wasn't very much school talk but honestly I don't even want to bore you guys with talking about my school because it's just it's so stupid. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, college is so stupid. It honestly just feels like I'm paying people for them to tell me what to do. That's what college feels like to me. It's like, here, here's a bunch of money and now you're gonna give me a list of stuff that I have to go do. And it's boring reading and watching videos. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. We're both lost out of the day.